Hey friends, welcome back to Big Nate's Whiskey Lounge. I am Nate. Today we're gonna do Bullet and Bullet Single Barrel. Um, I am a fan of Bullet. Um, Bullet, in my opinion, is a really good go-to um, standard whiskey. You can uh, use it as a cocktail. It does come at 90 proof. I want to double check that, 45, 90 proof. Um, so it's, it holds up decently in a cocktail. It's really inexpensive. It's about $25, $30 for a bottle. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's a good budget pour. Um, you can drink, it's one of those whiskeys you can drink without really thinking about it. Um, I remember one time um, I, was on, I was out of town for business one time and uh, I tied it on a little bit with some bullet because I knew that I, obviously they weren't, the place we were at was not sharing prices. And so I just went through and was like, you know what? I'm gonna drink a little bit extra tonight. I'm gonna go with Bullet because I know it's gonna be standard. I know I'm gonna like it and I know I'm not gonna pay too much for it. So um, just going into this and then we have a single barrel. Now a single barrel does not come in at cast strength. There are single barrel barrel proofs available on the market. This is not one of them. This is when they do like picks. Um, the, it comes in at 104 proof. So it comes in at 52% ABV. It was a single barrel. This was selected by Oppermans. This would be the Oppermans in Saginaw. So there are two Oppermans um, in, in Michigan. One is in Midland. Um, that is operated by Sean Opperman, who is good friends with Dan and Sean from Bourbon Junkies. I met him back in July. Good dude. This is from the other location in Saginaw. Um, and so this is a 30, uh, this is a high rye mash bill for both. Um, I actually, one of the resources that I use for some of my stuff, specifically bourbons, is going to be the Bourbon Bible. Um, this is the 2018 edition, and I was able to look up regular uh, bullet in it. So we know that it's 45%. Um, this particular one is 68% corn, 28% rye, 4% malted barley. It's not age stated, but we know it's at least four years old because it is straight and non age stated. Um, distilleries, it says that it's Four Roses and other undisclosed Kentucky distillery. Um, so, yeah. I had a buddy of mine ask me that the other day. He's like, where's that made? I was like, no, 100% no. We're pretty sure it's from Four Roses. Um, so, I'm going to give this a pour. We're going to do the regular first. Now, before I get into the barrel, or the barrel, uh, single barrel, I'm not going to lie to you, I didn't, <coughs> excuse me, I'm not going to lie to you, I didn't like it. Um, when I first poured the single barrel, we'll see if it's opened up a little bit. Classic bourbon, it's, it is a high rye bourbon, because, what's it, 28%? Yeah, a high rye is considered at 18 Thin on the nose, it is a 90 proofer. Um, I just came off, yeah, it is a 90 proofer. Oakiness, a little bit of sweetness on the nose, kind of corn dusty, dry. Which weird is I'm not tasting, but I can tell it's dry. Bullet. Okay. Shows its face a little bit more as far as proof goes on the taste. It's only 45%, so it's nothing blowing my mind or anything. It's good. A little bit of cherry. It's sweet, but I'm also kind of getting a sour cherry note as well. Oak. I'm getting some rye spice. This is good. It's bullet. I don't know what you want me to say. It's bullet. It's good. Um, and that's a good solid pour. Yeah, it is dry. I mentioned that on the on the nose. I thought it was going to be dry, and it is. It's dry. It's not a bad thing. Cleans a little bit, but then kind of goes off. Maybe a little bit of toffee. It's kind of like the English toffee, the chocolate covered toffee, like a Heath bar or the, what's it, to, 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 some, Tober something. I apologize for my lack of culture. All right, so that's going to be.
the regular bullet. We're going to pour, that cork came out way too quick. That is not sealed at all. Gotta be careful about that. Now what's interesting is this single barrel, it says it's 10 years old. So it is a 10 year old single barrel and it's 36% rise opposed to 28. So it is a little bit, it's a different mash bill. So oftentimes we can pick up differences based off of age, pick up differences based off of proof points, but this is actually a completely different mash bill than the regular bullet. So I need to swap my palette. Sorry about that guys. All right, huh. I didn't realize it. I'm actually pouring the Opperman's uh, barrel pick into my Opperman's glass, my Glen, which I picked up at the same store. So again, this comes in at 104 proof or 52% ABV. So it's not coming in at cast strength. Um, it's not coming in barrel proof cast strength. It's not coming in at that, um, but I do know that they do offer, actually on the next page here of the Whiskey Bible, the Bourbon Bible, it does show um, same mash bill as this, not, still not age stated, but it is cast strength at 119.2, at least the 2018 version was. Um, but again, 36% rye, so, and uh, 104 proof, and 10 years old. I actually didn't see the age statement till just now because it's kind of on the back of the sticker there. It says it there. So let's give this a taste. Actually, I'll let me describe the nose first. Sweet, kind of a frosting. Kind of like gelatin, like the, the jelly that's in a pecan pie or pecan pie, whatever you call it. Kind of the jelly that, that makes that up, but not, not with pecan notes. Maybe a little nutty, but not, not pecan. Fruit. There is a bit of a color difference. Oh, interesting. The taste went flat. It's flat. We jump up. 7% alcohol, we jump up 14 proof points, and this is flat. Doesn't taste bad. Honestly, I'm not getting any much off of it. It's interesting. A little bit of oak. A lot of the same flavors off of this, I could tell, hmm, I'm not even gonna lie to you, I can't necessarily tell that that's high or rye. Maybe there's a touch of it there, just a touch. On the end there, I got a spiciness. It's a little interesting. Huh, it's good. I don't dislike it anymore. It opened up. I'll be honest with you, up until I did the last video that I shot, I don't know when I'm gonna, what order I'm gonna be releasing, because those are just regular barrel, uh, regular bottles, so I'm not doing any series or anything. The last bottle that I did was Orphan Barrel Copper Tongue, which I did not like when I drank it the first time. It opened up and I didn't mind it. That's done the same thing with the single barrel, and up until I shot the Copper Tongue video, about 20 minutes ago, I was kind of, Anytime a lot of you guys would say comments like, oh, it just needs to open up or things like that, I'd be like, yeah, whatever. I'm, I'm getting what you're putting down. It does. It does need to open up. It needs to breathe a little bit. So, I mean, all right. So, and that's why we do this. So we try it once. If we like it or not, we give it another shot. shot. We don't write it off completely simply because we had a bad experience the first time. It could have been completely non-bourbon related that made us not like it the first time. Okay. Went back to regular bullet for a second. Definitely could tell the difference in the alcohol. 
However, I'm getting a little bit more flavor off of this than on that. But interesting. All right, so that's bullet, regular bullet, and bullet single barrel. Um, tell me what you think. Tell me if you've had this particular one. Um, this was pick number 85 from Offerman's. So if you're in that area, you may have had this. Um, you may have had this pick. Um, otherwise, if you've had other single barrels, if you've had single barrel cast strength, if you've had just the regular tenure, let me know. Let me know what you think about Bullet. Appreciate you sticking around. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.